This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. How about beef? That's a very strong area, especially in Argentina. Will they continue strong? Beef, uh, beef has been the leading animal protein in Argentina with uh, a large portion of it being dom consumed domestically. Argent Argentines have historically been one of the highest consumers of beef in the world together with Uruguay or Uruguayans. And uh, what we see is a transformation of the industry largely towards the export market. In terms of opportunities, are you seeing North American farmers actually going to Brazil and Argentina and setting up shop and producing primary commodities there? Absolutely. And, and we as a bank, we are involved in this uh, migration of, of producers from, uh, uh, let's say, the Midwest in the U.S. into uh, uh, the Cerrado in Brazil or into other production areas in Brazil, and some of them in, in Argentina as well. This is large farmers that decide to move and, using your expression, set up shop elsewhere. They will keep their farm uh, in the U.S. and they will get established uh, down in either Argentina or Brazil, or sometimes in both. What would you consider are the major opportunities that exist? Clearly, in what has to do with uh, Canada has excelled in, in managing different varieties in handling the movement uh, of grains across distances. This is an expertise that is lacking in both Argentina and Brazil. There's need for, in for infrastructure. There's need for knowledge on grain handling. There's need, this will be on the, on the production side of on production agriculture, on what has to do with, uh, with uh, the pork and beef. There is a need, particularly in the pork, on market development on market access, on product development, on research and, and development for the, at the processing stage and at the marketing stage. So there are huge opportunities. On the production side, on the technical component of it, the largest uh, hog producers and pork producers in, uh, in Argentina and Brazil will be at the same level as those in, in, uh, in Canada. Now, uh, but they're not the majority. So those other medium size or not so technic uh, technically advanced uh, uh, producers should be able to uh, match with uh, uh, Canadian producers as well. If I'm a producer in Ontario, Saskatchewan, Alberta, Manitoba, produce commodities, uh, corn, canola, whatever it might be, uh, what does this mean to me? What would you say to me in terms of how I should change my operation over the next decade or two based on what we know about the growth in this region? Well, it's, uh, it's clear that the situation will be, uh, will have changed to what, what he faces today. Uh, because the demand for urbanization, because uh, it's, it, he's a Canadian farmer, he will have a production structure cost that will be higher from that in, in, in Latin America or namely in, in Argentina or Brazil. Uh, this is the end of the game by no means. There's differentiation. Alternatives for this farmer are product differentiation, are better, better commodities and, and, and differentiated commodities. But we as, as Rabobank, we plan to grow in the US and, and, and Canada. So we do see that there's ample opportunity for the, for the ag sector in, uh, in this region. And so it's clear, what he should not do is stand still. He should look at opportunities, he should look at what to do with what he has, and he should look also to, uh, to, uh, to explore what others are doing and, and move probably, uh, move along the value chain in terms of adding value and, and lowering, their, lowering their cost. At the risk of oversimplifying this, so if I'm a, a farmer in this country, whether it's soybeans or wheat or cereals, whatever it is, Based on what we're seeing in Brazil and Argentina and even China, will, there, will we be the low-cost producer of anything? Uh, probably uh, it would be difficult to think that Canada can be the low-cost producer, but it can be the best producer. And, and, and that's what it's all about. For being the best producer, you might need to 
to to produce one variety, one hybrid that it's that has a, a feather property that you can handle and that you can manage as a more advanced producer than than your counterpart in, in either Argentina or or Brazil. So as a bank, you are not bullish on the commodity future in this country. It would have to be diversified or value add or something else. But it, it will have to go into other other uh, products or shifting into lowering their production cost. What's happening with dairy in the U.S. It's 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 an evidence of how the industry is looking into a, a lower cost uh, yeah. production structure with migration of of the dairy herd into other states and. Something along those lines can happen, uh, or should happen, in, in Canada. The, the, the main message will be that the steady state is not uh, advisable. Staying still is not advisable. Things are going to change, and more than that than what they have done so far in the next ten years, than that they than how they have changed during the last ten years. It's going to be much more dynamic.